Hey everyone, um, I want to share with you today this surprise happy Christmas mail that I got from my friend um, Tony. Um, her channel name, her channel's name is Creative Chica Halls and Crafts. And um, I got this package, I don't know when, I forgot, maybe three or four days ago. But I couldn't post a video until now for several reasons. Number one, I haven't been feeling well for the past two months since October. And I've been exhausted and totally drained and I was ba basically bedridden and maybe, maybe be able to do a, sm like a few small chores here and there and I didn't even leave the house for two months since October. Also at the same time um, we were renovating our bathroom and the workers were, were here for um, like 10 days because Saturday and Sunday they took off and then for seven days they were renovating the bathroom and they just left on Tuesday, this past Tuesday and yesterday I had to go get my state ID renewed at the DMV so today I finally have some time and some free time where I have the kitchen to myself where nobody's home now so I can record something and um, this, this, like I said this was a total surprise I didn't even know it was coming um, somebody got the mail and they knocked on my bedroom door and they said you have a package and I'm like I have a package and then I got the, the uh, I looked at the package and it was in this really pretty pink light pink like baby pink envelope and both us to Tony and I we both love the pink and then when I opened it I couldn't believe what was inside because first I saw this um, pencil pouch that Tony bought uh, during the back to school um, items when they had the back to school items in in like August or July this past August or July from Walmart and I remember I left her like a, a brief comment saying that I'm, that I love this pencil pouch because I like anything with roller skates I love anything with roller skates I, in fact I have an lol omg doll um, the one the one that I have uh, she I think she's called roller chick and she has roller skates on and she's like one of my favorite dolls that I have and I have a big doll collection and she's probably in my top two or three favorite dolls that I have I also have one of the Barbie extra mini minis not the Barbie extra mini but the Barbie extra mini minis and she's a little roller skate girl too and she's wearing like a little pair of purple roller skates so yeah and I love the roller skate stickers I have a bunch of roller skate stickers and I love anything with roller skates and I love hot pink and this is it's not showing up on camera my, my camera that well but it, it is hot pink and then the zipper is purple and so is the zipper pool and inside it's also purple as well and purple is my favorite color and pink is my second favorite color so this was perfect, but I'm surprised, Tony, you sent it to me because, I, you know, you bought it for yourself. So I'm like, wow, I was kind of confused. Why did you send me this? Because you seemed to love it, too, when you bought it. You really liked it. And, I, you know, I'm surprised you didn't keep it for yourself. And it, it, that it still has the tags on it. So maybe all along you were planning, you know, to, to send it out to someone in front mail because the tag's still on it, too. And, guys, uh, the roller skate has some, like, like, uh holographic silver like confetti in there and it moves around the yeah the confetti moves around in there so that's really cool that they added that extra touch that's really neat and it's by pen gear the brand is pen gear and I know the school supplies weren't that uh, they weren't they weren't cheap um, when I saw this one during the Walmart um, back to school walkthrough this past July and August I remember a lot of the stuff was overpriced, like this pencil pouch or this pencil bag and a bunch of other stuff are, are way overpriced. So thanks, Tony. I mean, you should have kept this for yourself. It's so, it's so cute. You didn't, really, you didn't need to send me it, but I really do appreciate it because I, I, this is like one of my favorite things that I ever got in front mail. I, I like it so much. And then she sent me this little, this cute uh, pink sparkly like converse like keychain and I love like um, I love to collect cute keychains in fact, in fact I've been collecting keychains probably since the mid 80s to late 80s I've been collecting keychains keychains probably since the mid 80s and um, I still collect keychains to this day whenever I find cute ones and I love anything with glitter or that's sparkly and I love pink so this is so cute I don't have this look even the bottom of the shoe is really detailed And then she sent me this homemade Christmas card with these three Christmas stickers that are that's really cute. And the back looks like that. 
And then she put, Merry Christmas, Liz and family. Have a wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love, Tony. You too, Tony. I'm going to be sending you out your Christmas card here uh, probably in two days on Monday. So keep an eye out um, for, for your card. And then, guys, both, her, both of us collect um, cute, like, lip balms. And she sent me so many, guys. Uh, she sent me one, two, three, four, five lip... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six lip balms. She sent me this um, lip smacker one, matcha latte. And it's supposed to be, like, flavored, they said, like the matcha latte tea drink, which I never even heard of that, and I never tried it, but... So I'm curious to, to, to smell it. And it has th this cute little like tab on top. I think it's supposed to be like a, like a coffee stirrer or something. And it's heart shaped. It's pink and it's heart shaped. So I can't wait to open that and smell it. I like green teas. So maybe this tastes like or kind of smells like green tea. Because it has some kind of tea leaves on it. And it's by Lip Smackers. And then she sent me this friend's um, lip gloss. It says strawberry frappe flavored. Wow. That should smell really good. Strawberry frappe flavored. And it's from the TV show uh, Friends. It says Central Park or Central Perk, Perk on there. Lip balm. And then she sent me this Pixie Sticks one. I love Pixie Sticks. And I love the packaging t to this, again, because the cap is glittery and it's pink. So I can't wait to open that and smell it. It says it's strawberry uh, flavored. I don't have any of these things so far, Tony. And this mini ice pop lip gloss, I don't have this either. Look how cute it is. I love collecting, like, like, uh, like ice pops and ice cream and sweets, like donut cute little novelty lip glosses like this. Look how cute she is. And I love the packaging too, the pink with the... And you think these are polka dots, but they're actually little black hearts. But on camera, it just looks like black polka dots, but they're actually little black little tiny hearts. So cute. And this one says it's a watermelon scented. Wow. I don't find that many watermelon scented lip glosses. You mostly find strawberry and cherry so this one I thought maybe would be strawberry scented but no it says watermelon watermelon scented right there there's a picture of a watermelon so cute and then guys this Tony this is perfect for Christmas because I don't have any Christmas lip balms and this one's the elf on the shelf one and it says it's candy cane flavored so that should be re refreshing and taste and smell pretty good and it's it says believe and it's uh with the elf on the shelf right there He's sitting on the shelf, elf on the shelf. So yeah, that's that's cute. Oh, and I love the little Santa, the little Santa Claus hat on top. That's really cute. I wonder if it comes off or if it's glued on there. I hope it's glued on there so it doesn't fall off the cap. And then this one is the cutest one, this Taste Squad. It says it's Tutti Fruity flavored. And look at the packaging on that with the rainbows and, and the purple heart and the donut and the lightning bolt. And actually, Tony, I have this one. I have this lip gloss. But this one, I'm going to keep in the packaging. Since the other one, I have out of packaging. And this one's too cute. So since I have it doubled, this is too cute to throw away the packaging this time. So I'm going to leave it in the, in the packaging like this. And then she sent me this, this uh, Wicked Nail Polish. And uh, uh, it's the Skull. It's a Skull Nail Polish holder and I uh, actually I don't have this one Tony but I got the first set I think you said something that you never seen these at your Dollar Tree before in, in your video when you hauled this but the Dollar Tree had um, a similar similar ones that came out I think maybe three years ago but they were all neon colors and they had like maybe five in the set and I have all five of those that Dollar Tree um, released maybe a few years ago like the neon colors but I don't have this one this, this one just came out uh, this past October, this Wicked line. So I don't have this one, this shade. It says Pretty in Pink. That's the shade right there, Pretty in Pink. And I really like this color. And of course I like the, the packaging, the, the cool skull. So this will look, uh, this will fit in right in with my other skull nail polishes that I have. That'll be like the sixth in my collection. 
And then, guys, she knows that I like to collect cute novelty pens, and she collects a lot of no novelty pens like I do. But she said that recently um, that she wants to get rid of a lot of her novelty pens. Like, she wants to to do a giveaway with them. I don't know if she's... Tony, I can't believe how many things you sent me. I was really shocked about the pens, because I remember in the video, in a video, you said that you want to do a giveaway with your novelty pens. So you really didn't have to send me these because you could have just put them in the, in the giveaway if you're still planning to do the giveaway with the rest of the novelty pens. But I appreciate you sending me them, but you, you really shouldn't have because since you want to do that novelty pen giveaway. But this donut one is super cute because I love donuts and I love pink. And I have um, the purple one in this in this pen collection because they came, up, came out with a few of these donut ones, different styles. And the one that I have is purple, and it doesn't have the hole in it. I like this one better, because I like the donut with the hole, and this one's a little bit cuter. And um, the pen is like a light, light, like a blue color. So it's so cute. It's like nice and squishy, like a squishy toy. So that'll go good with my other purple donut from the same collection that I have. And this taco one, I love anything with junk food because I love. I don't eat healthy. I mean, I never. I'm not. I've never eaten healthy, and I love tacos. I love Mexican food. I love hamburgers, pizza, and I have the other ones, Tony, in this collection. I have the. What do I have? I have the pizza slice. I have the waffles. I have the hamburger, and uh, there's another one that I have, but I can't remember what what it is. But I don't have the taco. So yeah, this is the last one I needed in, in this collection. Look, it has a, a dab over here of sour cream on top. And I love sour cream. And I always get my tacos supreme from Taco Bell. Or, or I always get the taco supremes or the soft taco supremes. I always get everything with sour cream in them. So that's, that's cute. And then the pen itself is green. And then this one, this Jojo Siwa one. This is super adorable with this hot pink, uh, like, sequence bow. And I don't have this one, Tony. In fact, I don't have anything by Jojo Siwa. Not, nothing. No, not any st stationery, no, no merchandise. I don't have anything. So, yeah, this is super cute. Look at that. There's a unicorn on there. It's not showing up on camera. But there's a dog, a dog head, a smiley face with, like, heart-shaped um, sunglasses and um, a, a purple converse like tennis shoe and then here's the envelope that came with that with the card that she sent me with this cute like uh, Christmas cookie so I'm gonna save that Tony if I can save it from the envelope I'll try to peel it off slow and see if I can save it so yeah I think that's it but that's a lot <laughs> not that, that that's it it just only sent me like one uh, that I'm uh, that's just small friend mail but I mean yeah that's it so thanks Tony for sending me all this stuff um yeah I was a big surprise and um I considered this a Christmas present because I don't get a lot of Christmas presents usually I just get money from one person and this year I think I'm only getting one present but it, it, it doesn't matter about that I just I put a smile on my face that you you thought about me this this Christmas so like I said, I mean like I've said in my other videos, even if you just sent me this card, I mean that just shows that you're thinking about me and just send me something, you know, to make my day. Because I like receiving anything in the mail from, from you guys, whether it's just a note, a letter, a card, what, whatever. But yeah, so th I consider this a, as a Christmas present from you, Tony. So yeah, this really, really uh, made my day, actually made my whole week because I was I was been feeling bad for the past two months, so... And I, had, I wasn't able to, to leave the house to do any shopping or anything. So, yeah, thank you so much, Tony. I'm going to be sending you a Christmas card and a thank you card probably Monday, Tuesday at the latest. So, sorry it's so late this year because usually I send you your card, your Christmas card er, way earlier than this. So, you should just get it just in time bef before Christmas. So, thanks for watching, guys. Check out Tony's channel, Creative Chica Halls and Crafts, and tell her Liz Horror fan sent you. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.